it's your girl Polish CEO. I am back with another video. So what's up, what it do? We are hopping straight on in today's video. I am washing my hair because I just took out some knotless box braids. If you are new here, your girl had in those braids for two months, which you saw on my last video. And I did make this little concoction that consists of conditioner and water mixed together. And I put them on my knots. So now I am washing my hair. I did this video about a year ago of how I do my Bantu knot and an updo, which I will make sure to tag it. I think I still have it posted. But anyway, a lot of people were asking me, how did I get my hair like this? How did I get this look? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do another video on this. Now I am using Tresemme conditioner and shampoo. Now I am just conditioning my hair and I'm going to just be putting it in my freshly washed hair now when I was applying my conditioner in my hair y'all I did realize that I forgot to comb out some of the knots so I had to get my comb and this is the same conditioner that I mixed with the water to get those lint knots or whatever you want to call them out but I realized that I kind of missed some spots and that I didn't comb them all out so I had to go ahead and apply some more of the conditioner and just kind of comb out those knots before I begin on the Bantu knot hairstyle. Make sure to go ahead and like this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have worn Bantu knots before. Is this the same method that you do your Bantu knots in if you've had them or if you've done them before? If you are new here, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you'll get that notification each time your girl posts. We are aiming for every day, posting every day. So make sure you are subscribed. And like I said, comment down below. Even if you wanna just say, hey girl, hey, Make sure to leave me a comment. So this was the amount of hair that came out using the conditioner just to calm out my hair and honestly this is like a lot less than what it usually is because it's usually a lot more but after I wash the conditioner out of my hair we're gonna go ahead and hop on these bantu knots so first of all I'm gonna comb out my hair just kind of like give it a little extra brush make sure that my hair is completely combed out you know I can run my brush through it really good now for this hairstyle today I am using the argon oil foam and I'm also going to be using some eco style gel so first I start by doing a middle part or a part all the way down the middle and then I'm going to part off sections so when I part the part down the middle I'm going to split that in half as well that way I'll have two rows so over the years doing this hairstyle I realized that 
the more bantu knots that I have, the more curly and the better my hair looks. I don't know. So I normally do as few knots as I can, especially like if I'm in a rush. But today I'm not in a rush and I wanted to take my time and I wanted my hair to be super duper cute because I have um, photo shoots coming up for my birthday. Uh, my birthday is next week. Anyway, and I also was going out this weekend. So... I wanted my hair to be super cute, so I'm gonna start by twisting, and you can twist whichever way feels comfortable to you, to the right or to the left, but you wanna twist, 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 twist in one direction, and make sure that when you are twisting that the hair is getting tight. If you can see up at the root how the hair is kind of going up into a ball by itself, yeah, that's how tight you wanna twist it. Now I am adding the Eco Style Gel to the ends just so it can kinda of keep it all together. And I'm also gonna be using a rubber band to secure the knot. So once I put the gel on the end and tie it into a little ball, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rubber band on, like I said, to secure it. Now I am parting this section off into three parts and then I'm gonna do the next section into three parts and until I'm done.
So once I put the last rubber band on, this is how it looks in the back. The parting does not have to be perfect at all because we are not wearing the band twos as a style. So once you are done, you want to go ahead and put a scarf on. Honestly, y'all, I slept with some panties on my head. If you follow me on TikTok, you already know. <laughs> anyway, I'm using some glossing hair polisher to make my hair look all sheeny and nice. I love this because I think it looks really good. It makes black hair look really, really good. I don't know about any other color, but the black, it has the black shining, baby, okay? So I'm just taking these down. Like, I'm literally just taking them down any kind of way. I like to pull it from the root because it has a rubber band on it, and the rubber band kind of pulls my hair. Some of the rubber bands I noticed I did add on too tight so I had to cut them with some scissors but you just want to make sure you are taking all of your knots out before we actually take them apart. Once you make sure that all the knots out, this is what you're gonna be left with, like a little curly fro. And like I said, I am doing this specific updo because everybody always asks me about it. So that's what I'm gonna be showing y'all how I do. So this time I'm going to be doing like twists at the front and then a big twist at the back so you're just gonna gather the hair and kind of twist in an upward motion i am using hair pins to secure it up and y'all let me tell y'all the magic that i created with this style this time because i only had three hair pins girl like i literally had could find no more hair pins in my vanity like i'm like oh my god how am i gonna make this work but I made it work with three hairpins, okay? Like I said, just twist in an upward motion and however you want the front to look. Like I'm going for two twists in the front and like I said, one big twist in the back. But just make sure you are gathering the hair and when you hairpin it, that it is secure, that it's not loose and not gonna fall. And then I'm going to shape my little fro and this is how it looks in the back. But you can shape that top part, your little curly fro, however you like. And then I am doing my baby hair with Eco Style Gel. Your girl, for some reason, cannot use edge control, like regular edge control, because it just literally curls my hair back up. So I like to use the Eco Style Gel because I noticed that it makes my baby hairs kind of stay really good. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to style my baby hairs with a little curl at the end, girl. And I'm also going to be adding some of the black I think it's edge control, if I'm not mistaken, in some of the parts, because as y'all can see, your girl edges is kind of thin, but it's okay, because we makes it work, baby. We makes it look good, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just doing my baby hairs, and yeah, that is pretty much how you get this look. Y'all can see me there adding the black edge control in to kind of fill in the edges and make it look a little more full. And then, girl, this is the end result. This is what you get, and I absolutely love this hairdo. This is my protective style or go-to hairdo when I don't want to put weave in my head and I just want to wear my natural hair. I absolutely love it. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.